Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm gonna to be trying some more makeup hacks. I love to do that around here. I find it very fun testing new makeup hacks. And we will see if some of these are actually worth doing or if they're just stupid shit to get views. I mean, either way, I'm sure it will be a fun time, so. Let's do it. I really feel like the lighting setup is so much better in my new filming room compared to my old one. Let me know what you think, but I don't know. I just feel like it looks a lot a lot better because I'm filming this at like half 10 at night and it, I don't think you can really tell. This first one actually blew my mind and I've been doing this since I came across this TikTok. And this is a hack that has been around for years and years and years, but I had never seen it before. So this comes from a user called Brie Martin and it is covering up a pimple, supposedly with no makeup. And what she's essentially doing is taking eye drops that are supposed to be for brightening your eyes. And that part is very important because the way that these little brightening eye drops work is that they supposedly constrict your blood vessels that then reduces the redness in the area. It's only temporary though, but that's how these work when you put them in your eyes. I've got to say, I don't actually use this bottle on my eyes because I don't think they're like compatible with contact lenses. I have contact lenses in 99% of my life. So I don't even know why I had these. I picked a good day to try this because hopefully you can see I've got a nice red angry looking one there. And I've got a nice red angry looking one there. Maybe I'll even try it on this. And then the rest of these are just scars that are fading. So what they do in a video is they just put this onto a cotton bud. But what I'm actually going to do is drop it directly onto my finger. Obviously, if you are using the same bottle in your eye, just don't make sure you're not touching the top of this. But just for hygiene reasons. But like I said, I'm not putting it in my eye. So, so I'm literally just going to dab that onto the area and we will do a little before and after. So let's put some on this one. And I did watch a dermatologist react to this and she said that it does work. However, it's not a permanent solution. Like it doesn't treat the acne. And she said it's not good to do this all the time because apparently it, sometimes the redness can come back worse if you repeatedly do this on the same area. So it's definitely not a permanent fix. But if you have an important event or something like, for example, yesterday, I had some people come around from YouTube to film at my house, which is crazy enough in itself. But I woke up yesterday with this fat spot on the middle of my foot. Well, it's not the middle, is it? On my forehead. And yesterday it was like an extra head. Um, and I did this yesterday and I feel like it helped. Do you not think the redness of that is going down? I'm gonna try and like hold it over this spot for a minute so that it doesn't all run off and see if there's a difference. I'm gonna do the same on this one. I don't know if I'm being crazy. I'm gonna have to actually do a side-by-side -side comparison and a little before and after. So let me just insert a picture of my face and these spots before a minute ago. And then this is obviously them after. It's not made them disappear by any means. You can still visibly see them, but I do think it's reduced the redness. Am I just being crazy? You can also get stronger strength than this. Um, stronger strength? Like higher strength eye drops that do a better job than this one. This one's got 0.005% of whatever the active ingredient is. So I'm sure if you've got a high strength eye drop, it would probably do an even better job. I thought, I thought that was a really cool one. Let me know if I'm just making that up in my head. Okay, I'm just gonna put on some foundation and concealer. This is the House Labs foundation. And if anyone was wondering, I have got the shade 120 Light Warm. <laughs> oh my God, the way that my lights are, I'm so shiny. This next hack, I literally saw on my few page today on TikTok. Okay, their name is Sarah and their handle is C-W-A-S-S aunt. Wait, C-W-A-S aunt? Is that what it's supposed to say? But it's basically saying that if you have a round face, you should try contouring vertically. And by this, they are literally putting on, okay, they're using powder in this particular clip and doing it downwards. But then I saw another video of a girl reacting to this called Dan Vin. She is literally just painting on her cream contour. So I'm using Bondi Bell from Nude Sticks because this one is slightly more cool toned. And just like painting on the contour like this instead of across the cheeks. And then, I feel like this could be kind of tricky because of the spots that I have on this area of my face. Oh, wait a sec. I kind of see what they mean. Because then it's sort of like, the only thing is, from the side, it just looks weird. It looks like I've got a muddy patch of bronzer. But from the front, from the front, I really feel like that's made a difference to make my face look like it goes in more at the bottom instead of just being completely round, which makes a lot of sense. But then yeah, it just does not look normal from the side. And I saw a few people commenting on the video saying that they tried this and it just looks like a gray ashy blob from the side. And obviously my, even though this one is more cool toned than Bondi Bay, it's still slightly more warm toned and kind of just looks a bit strange. Does kind of work though, maybe just good for pictures, but I wouldn't use this one in real life. I will try it with my powder once I've like everything. This next one I'm so excited for. This comes from a user called Monet. She has cut one of her eyeshadow brushes down the center to turn it into like a two pronged brush that you can then use to contour your nose. She said just give my brush the Whoville Mare cut. Ooh, I've just found a 
Peace, little boys. Bye. One sec. I need to do this over the bin. She takes a brush. I'm going to use, I'm going to try two different ones just because I'm not sure what thickness I'm going to need. I mean, hopefully these will both be all right, but we'll give it a go. These are just some old brushes. And she takes like a hair clip to section out the middle. Oh, wait. Hang on. My bristles aren't long enough. That's not going to work. My hair clip's too big. How am I supposed to trim that? I'm actually just gonna take my scissors and just go down the middle like this and start trimming into my bin. This is actually kind of harder than it looks. Maybe because these scissors aren't very sharp. Why is this so difficult? We have some kind of progress, but I don't actually know if this is gonna work. If this one doesn't work, I guess I'll cut the other one because the other one's slightly thicker. Here is my brush. <laughs> Let's give it a try. So I'm just taking some of my contour product and then don't know why it got wider as it went down but it's looking pretty straight and then i guess i just blend it in it's kind of scraped off some of the foundation down the middle i think the bristles are maybe too short i'm gonna blend this out and try again because that's definitely put a brown stripe down the middle of my nose i'm gonna try and cut a bit more as in like cut off a bit deeper down i'm also just cutting like off a tiny bit more to make it a tiny bit wider. Right, let's give this another try. Okay, I think that one went better. I still feel like it dips in at the top, but maybe this is me just being picky because that is actually quite impressive. And then from here, you blend it out. Still thinking. Still thinking that that's a little bit too skinny compared to how I normally do my nose contour. However, there is no doubt that that works. That has definitely done what it was supposed to do. If you went and attacked one of your makeup brushes after this video, let me know in the comments down below. Is this one any better? Last try. This one I've made a little bit wider, so. Oh no, <laughs> that's too wide. It takes a bit of trial and error, guys. Maybe it's the type of brushes that I'm using. Maybe I need to use a slightly thicker brush or a brush with longer bristles. I'm not fully sure, but by all means, if you have an old brush that you don't use anymore and you want to give this a go and you struggle to get your nose contour lines even, then absolutely give this a go because it does kind of work. But just, I, it's just very fiddly to get it right, you know? <gasps> I wish that I had executed that a bit better because I really think that I could help a lot of people. I think I'll just stick to this. I'm just going to do the rest of my face and areas where I don't have makeup hacks for. Bit of P. Louise peach of my heart. Ugh, that powder is going absolutely everywhere. <gasps> Wait, I just realized there was one that I was supposed to do before my foundation. And that is this. I have seen this girl everywhere using the NYX Thick It Stick It, which I have tried before, but she is called Kayla Ramash on TikTok. I'll put her video on the screen. She basically puts this all up in her brows and like sticks it to her head and then goes around it with a makeup wipe and she has perfect brows and no need for any other product. So let's do the same. She literally like loads it on thick as the name suggests. Oh my. Oh my god, I look like a werewolf. Okay, it's kind of drying a little bit, so I'm gonna go in with another coat just to make sure that it's really, really on there. And then taking some micellar water on a cotton pad and just removing the excess. Obviously this would work a lot better if you didn't have your foundation on already. Just trying to brush it out a little bit. This one looks pretty good. This one, I think I put too much product in and it looks a little bit like a slug. It does work for sure, but I feel like mine doesn't look quite as impressive as hers did. Hers literally look like microbladed eyebrows. Mine do look a little bit blocky. I don't know, I don't know. Personally, I probably couldn't see myself doing that just because it's a bit of extra faff, isn't it? I would find it easier to just fill in my eyebrows as normal because I find that whole cleaning up process just takes a lot longer. But there we go. Now I can set this big old shiny disco ball of a forehead for my bronzer. Let's do a little contour down the face. That does make a difference, doesn't it? Oh my god, no, it does kind of look like I've got a bit. Mm, yeah, that contour one is not for me because from the side it just looks really weird. We move on. Let's just try my little brush. Now, why does that look wonky? Kind of works, kind of doesn't. Nothing's really going to plan. Blush will fix everything. Yeah, I really just look like I have a beard. Not for me, not for me. Only good in pictures from the front. This next one is wild. I don't know how these people are doing this, but they are putting their eyeliner in the corner of their eye and then giving themselves whiplash by flicking their head and it creates the perfect little flick. Like, how are they doing this? And it looks so good. Oh God, I feel like I'm gonna go the wrong way by accident. Also, my neck 
hurts really easily. So I feel like I'm gonna do some damage here. I cannot stand this bronzer. Get off me. I have my weapon of choice. This is the Clinique Pretty Easy Liquid Eyelining Pen. Put the eyeliner here and then that's the wrong angle. Now what? Like now what? It's done a straight line, but it's pointing down to the floor. Actually no, it's pretty, that's pretty horizontal. Okay, so I guess I do it down. I need to go down instead of just that way. That one actually went a lot better. It's still a bit too flat compared to what I would normally do, but I feel like we can make that work. Let me just try and get rid of this one. Set the area again. So if you got this, you got this. Ah! <laughs> You know what, those aren't too badly evened. I just need to obviously fill it in. It does get a very thin end to your flick. But let's see. Because that angle's wrong, I just don't think this is gonna work. Like I never do my eyeliner this straight outwards. This side, I think actually looks really good. That one was my first attempt. Actually, no, the angle is kind of weird. Like the angle's fine when I'm like this, but then the second I lift my head up, it's kind of pointing downwards, isn't it? Oh, now I'm gonna have to mess up this one to match this one. With some practice, maybe it would be helpful. I feel like I could do my eyeliner well without doing that, but I gotta say, like it did give a very thin little and maybe if you do struggle, give it a go. And then the final hack that I have for you guys is for curling your lashes. And this comes from Rose and her account is Rose and Ben. This one is a bit of a full on routine, so stick with me. She curls her lashes. I'm gonna do it on this eye first because then we can hopefully really see the difference. So she curls her lashes first. Then she puts on one coat of mascara. I'm using the Beauty Bay mascara. And that's looking pretty good already. But then she waits for this to dry for about 10 seconds, she says. Then she adds a little bit more mascara, but literally just to the tips of the lashes. Oh my God, I just got that on my skin. She combs through the clumps with a lash comb. Whoa, I feel like this is sticking them up itself. Hang on, how do people do this and not get it all over their skin? Because what the hell? Even doing that has stuck my lashes up so much. I'm gonna have to wait for all of this to dry and then scrape it off. This is the bit that is different. So she takes her eyelash curler and then she takes a trans translucent powder on a brush and she coats this on the top and the bottom of the lash curler. So I'm just using this like translucent powder from Ciate. And apparently this powder is supposed to set your lashes so that they're not gonna move. It like sets the mascara and it's obviously gonna stop your lash color from sticking to your eyelashes and ripping them out, hopefully. <laughs> okay, so she says you want your lashes to be a bit tacky, which they are, then go back in with it. Is this not just gonna turn my eyelashes white? And then recurl. And this is supposed to set your mascara and your lashes. Oh, I feel like it looked better before I just did that. Now they're all kind of sticking together again. Before they were all nice and separated. Even though we have the powder on there, it's still taking off some of the mascara onto my lash curler. I'm actually so mad about that. I've seen people doing this on TikTok and it works so well. Why does it not work for me? Oh my God as well, has it ripped out some of my lashes? It hasn't, but they now look all like messed up. I feel like they honestly looked the best. Yeah, now they look super clumpy and weird, which they didn't before. They honestly looked the best after I'd curled them, put on my mascara, and then just gone over with the lash comb. They're sticking up, right? But they've just, they look a bit weird. Like, look at the clumping. And the powder thing did not quite work for me, which is such a shame. I'm gonna try it on this eye, but with a different mascara. Instead, I'm using the L'Oreal Telescopic. And I'm gonna put on a slightly thinner layer this time. So one coat, dry that a little bit, then go in on just the tips of the lashes. Then lash comb. Okay, what the fuck? Sorry, what have I done wrong now? <laughs> what the hell happened? Well, that went well. Like I was saying, how do people do this? <laughs> and, not, and not get it everywhere. Oh God. You know what guys, I'm so disappointed. All of these hacks looked so good to me and I was so excited to try them. And has every single one been a flop? You're joking me. Why are they now sticking up straight? Like sticking outward straight. They're not even going up now. They're literally like almost pointing down. I am so confused. I am so confused. What on earth went wrong? And do I have any eyelashes left? That's my main concern. Well now by comparison, these ones look bloody great. It worked so incredibly well for Rose and I don't know what I've done wrong, but it didn't work for me. And on that note guys, I'm gonna leave this video here. <laughs> I'm not even gonna bother to do my lips because I'm like, realistically, am I gonna go out wearing my makeup like this? 
No, I'm absolutely not. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If anything, please just give it a thumbs up because of this mess and I nearly ripped out my eyelashes. So <laughs> would I use any of those hacks again? Probably not. Oh, the eye drop one. I would use the eye drop one, but I've been doing that for the past few weeks anyway and I knew that it worked. So I am quite let down by some of these. Let me know if you've tried any of these and if they work for you. I would love to know because maybe it's just me. Maybe I've just done everything wrong. If you enjoy this kind of content, I would love it if you subscribe because I do this kind of thing quite often and it's fun. So <laughs> subscribe. I hope you guys are doing really good. I will see you in my next video. Bye. Oh, I gotta go take this all off.